hi everyone in this video i would like to show you how to create a vibrant botanical subject in watercolor painting and my subject is pineapple so i would like to give you some in short introduction about myself and how i came out with this realistic painting you know i love arts any form or medium of arts that's simple and basic knowledge i have so in my journey, the first lesson and important thing that I've learned is that without practice, our God-given talent will not progress. So that's my uh, thinking. So okay, let's go with this um, pineapple painting. One of the hardest and the most difficult subject that I encounter on my own self-learning journey is this one yes really I almost gave up on this I thought I cannot finish I can finish um, when I when I uh, my turn goes to the pine berries but as I go on with the leaves it's easy combining colors like burnt sienna sap green olive green windsor lemon and paints gray so with the um, right amount of water and consistency you will come out with this um, natural colors and the harmonious tonal values so i started with the lightest tone plus the the second is the um, the darkest tone as you can see and then the third uh, is the mid mid tone so also in painting leaves um, it's so easy for me because I know how the process or how my technique goes and also I do some lifting of the colors to come out with the um, the lightest tone or the shiny effect so that it looks more realistic so I will show you how I did in here so you see I lift my the paper you know lift it up I brought I put some light water on my brush and then I lift it up so as you can see the different tones of the leaves so, so that is easy for me but when it comes um, with the pine berries the trouble began for me you know it was so hard to come out with all the different and unique faces all the different um, directions and and the pine berries as we call it in the Philippines is like the eyes of the pineapple and it's so difficult because it affects the tonal values so here I painted in a couple of first layers to establish a general idea of how each of them will look different from each other's in terms of tonal values so you can see there's the lightest tone and plus the darkest tone so it's really hard on me for this part it takes a lot of patience and concentration to uh, really um, come out in a good composition of this pineapple so because maybe it is in, it is in my attitude that I have lots of patience so well I did because as you can see I progress with all the pine berries and I started to begin layers of layers of paint to come out and bring them into harmony. I used my um, Series 7 of Windsor & Newton watercolor 
brushes for fine details and as you can imagine how many layers I spent painting in each berries and how long it takes to complete one berries and what more with a whole pineapple so it's really really difficult but in the end it's you know the uh, the joy and the fulfillment for for you know for one subject it's really um, can't can what you call this um it's speechless speechless okay so as you can see I progress with details of each pine berries as you can see the bottom part I made it a real um, realistic berries and then um, I keep going on the paper I use here is the cold, arch cold press watercolor paper and the watercolor is a mix of uh, Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton professional watercolor so I mixed it up on uh, the peep uh, the color is the permanent alizarin crimson scarlet scarlet lake quinacridone gold quinacridone burnt orange and mixing of um the uh, paints gray and and the burnt sienna and lemon uh yell lemon yellow or windsor lemon sorry so so as you can see I progress with all slow with all the pine berries slowly and slowly so I didn't uh, show you here here the whole process because it's really long and, and it needs more concentration so here's the final uh, outcome of my pineapple so I do hope you enjoy this one and I'm so happy and it's like um, a labor of love a masterpiece of a kind don't forget to subscribe and uh, tune in for more videos bye